Hello there, I'm David Downs and this is the first video of what is a new channel for me, the Downs Speaks channel, where I'll randomly rant about whatever's on my mind that day. This will be the first video obviously and I wanted to address the termination of the Downs A530 channel. As many of you know, earlier today I got my third strike because the NBA got upset about the Pistons Pacers game and they probably would have gotten upset about more because I've checked some other channels and they have struck vindictively against most of the NBA postings that are on YouTube. Quite frankly, this is just another example of why I hate the current version of the NBA, and specifically their white-haired, senile leader, David Stern. Most of you know that the NBA had their little pissing contest during the summer about a new collective bargaining agreement. Now, I'm sure all the money they lost during that back and forth about who would get the bigger piece of the pie is no doubt driving their desire to shovel their current crap down our throats. But why the hell do you wait years and then decide, oh, now is the time for us to strike down these old NBA games? I could see if you were consistent in your policy but this just reeks of the arrogance that has destroyed a once great league I keep thinking back 20 years ago to when I first watched an NBA game and I was enamored by Magic Johnson and Michael Jordan going at it in the NBA Finals my love affair began that day and for nearly 20 years, I had no problem with it. That is until this past season, when it seemed like all that I could hear about was the Miami Heat. Now, obviously, we're not going to bash any players here. My main focus is on a guy who should have stepped down over a decade ago. David Stern at one time may have been the most powerful commissioner in sports. Now he's basically trying to recover from a period every time he says something that come, comes straight out of left field. Of all the principals who were big names in this lockout from Derek Fisher and Billy Hunter and all the rest, the person who I thought manipulated things the most was Emperor Stern. He set things up so that the players union could fall into a trap and become the enemies of everybody who was looking afar and saying, wow, how greedy are these people? That was his doing. And now that he's lost 16 games per team on the schedule, He's doing everything he can to get the hype machine built back up. Just look at the Chris Paul trade. He shuns the Lakers, who have been his principal money-making team for the better part of, well, pretty much his entire tenure, except for the 90s. And he t sends them to the Clippers so we can get a billion more highlights of Blake Griffin dunking a basketball. Just what I'm looking forward to on my TV screen. But that's besides the point. The big point here is that I do not agree one bit with him taking down the games. It'd be one thing if these people were actually making money off of this stuff. Unless I know otherwise, the guys that he's targeted have not made a penny from what they've done. And in a way have given the league free publicity that it could not dream of getting now. I would rather watch 
the games from the 70s and the 80s as opposed to this isolation, the stars, the only one who gets the ball crap that is regularly on my screen from ESPN and TNT. I do not like the current NBA, and I do not like people who've overstayed their welcome. So David Stern, go ahead and take out my channel. The only thing you're accomplishing by doing so is ensuring that even more people hate your guts and hate your NBA. You should have retired in 1999 after the first lockout. And quite frankly, I'm shocked that you're still in charge today. And with that, I bid you adieu. And I'll see you next time on the Downs Speaks channel.